Thank you um, and good evening, gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, maybe let me start by uh, just telling you how the school, I got involved in the school. Um, I'm from a company called Vugani Musa Construction. But then as far as the Sisheng Intermediate School is concerned is that it is a school where I did my sub A. 1980. So it's a school which is really very close to my heart. My relationship with the school never really ended since 1980. Um, I had the privilege of taking both my daughter and my son did their grade ones were in the same class where I did my grade uh, sub A then in 1980. So my involvement with the school started then, and uh, later on I became part of the SGB in the school. Our school was then very, we only had five classes. And uh, today as we speak, we have something like 25 classes as we speak. Um, we were like 170 then at school. The school has now 1,000, close to 500 and something now. So you can see that it is a school I saw growing from nothing to what it is today. I, I was an SGB member, a chairperson also at the school. So and uh, when um, the possibilities for partners approached me, for me it was just a continuation of what I've been doing, just keeping the relationship going and if you were supposed to ask me as whether my kids happen to be now somewhere in Bloemfontein, they don't attend there anymore, but um, my commitment to the school is something very dearly to me. Um, uh, the school is really very close to my heart, like I said. Um, it is a school that has built the person I am today my foundation if you want to people normally congratulate me and tell me how good i am but that real foundation was really laid at this very same school and that the orca joined the school to um 19, 1990. Uh, i only then finished my standard five at 1988 and he will be leaving very soon so, yeah, the school uh, for us um, as coming back to possibilities for partnership. The names, the name actually tells it all. You know, I had the time to reflect now over the last few days, thinking about that today one will have to say a word or two. Um, I, I as a person. After standard at five, I did stand at six, and I failed stand at seven at Rangeville School. And that was the end of my schooling. And after failing stand at seven, I came and I was very privileged back to Katu, and the mine appointed me as a general worker. I only then started to decide to say, but let me empower myself, and the only best empowerment could be through education. I realized that I've made a lot of mistakes along the way. I only then started studying and finishing my, my standard uh, 10, uh, which is grade 12 now. And later on, I qualified as a carpenter. I qualified as a building inspector. Then I went to University of South Africa to do some certificate there called first line management. And then I went to Techis where I did my project management, also a certificate at, uh, at Techies at University of Pretoria. So, and later on, 11 years ago, I, after, I think I get bored very quick, uh, uh, quickly, and then after that, I resigned and started a company, and uh, it's now 11 years now. I have employed like 100 people who are working for me at this construction company. I also bought shares in a lot of other companies, but that is not the point that I'm trying to make. I'm just trying to say that someone 
along the way played a huge role where for me, someone made it possible for me. And when I thought of coming back, it was a way of giving back also to our community to say, we, I am also able to partner with companies like the likes of the s seeing what, how much they do for community. And as a businessman, I feel obliged that our country needs us, need us more today than never before. Because we are the only hope and uh, we have a huge responsibility to make sure that the next generation survive. I know how much Kumba played uh, quite a huge role in order to develop me because they've been there encouraging me as a person. And I take my head off for all the sponsors who makes it possible because I know what it really means to grow from nothing to what I am today. Um, we are very privileged to have gone through the training that we got has only just made us much better people today because I'm more wiser now because I could share some of my wisdom and I could also share frustration with the, with the, with the principal what frustrates them. Yes, the dynamics changes each and every time. If you were supposed to ask about what are the challenges at my school, the modern challenges is like lawlessness. It's more to do with how we were raised. And unfortunately, the current dynamics dictates things like um, drugs also at, at our school. And we know it's a process. It's not something that is, we can be eroded today out of the school because we need to get into the psyche of the children just to make sure. But um, the school has my commitment to, to help change, try and try to be the agent of change which I am also uh, yearning for. So I want to thank uh, partners for possibilities to make it possible to partner with us as business people because I am from a generation that believes that it takes a village to raise a child. And as long as I am part of this society here, I commit myself to do the best that I can do. And what a privilege it was to be part of this, the sessions that we had, that we had and, uh, and this can just make this country a much better, a better, a better country. And thank you very much once more. Thank you.